Hello everybody, what is going on? I am Joey. Today you join me here for another one of those highlight videos where this time I am talking about this crazy crash I saw in the first heat of my last race in the Cal Speed Super Series. Now, I will be doing an analysis of my main race, but I thought I'd just give you this little sneak peek because this crash I posted on my TikTok, if you're not following me there, go do that. And it's gotten so far as I'm filming over 120,000 views. I know, absolutely crazy. But I just wanted to give you my analysis of the crash because one of the cool parts was I got some footage of people involved in the crash, not just from me, but from a couple other racers as well. So we're gonna take a look at what actually happened. All right, so the first angle we're gonna look at is from Quinn Allen Riley. Now, if you haven't checked out his channel, make sure to go do that. He's creating some awesome content as well. So a couple things I wanna point out. Funny enough, he had cart number 27, which is the cart I had in my main race. You'll see that cart later on. But let's get into his angle of the crash. So coming through bypass, he's kind of in an area all on his own. So he's just assuming everything's normal and just continues driving, which I would do. One thing you may notice, there's a marshal right there. But again, you're not going to be looking there, so how would you see? So he's just continuing the drive, totally normal. And since this is a GoPro Max, we have the 360 camera so we can look around. And you're going to notice that all of a sudden, he slows down a little bit because you have a cart here at a dead stop. There's a cart starting to move. And then there's the guy who fell out of the cart. So it's right on the exit. And you'll notice he takes his arm off the wheel, slows down a little bit. And as you can see, this cart back here just continues to go on its own. Kind of weird. Obviously, since the driver wasn't in it and the cart was moving when the guy went flying out, it just continued rolling. So luckily, it didn't come back on track and hit another cart. But as you can see here, the driver just completely is on the ground, rolling and is in a ton of pain, which obviously hitting the cement, falling off a go-kart, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt for sure. So that was his perspective. No yellow flags yet, as this is only about 10 seconds after the crash happened. Now let's take a look at my angle of the crash. All right, so here we are coming towards the crash, going through bypass and everything seems normal but I'm gonna pause the video right here. So you might have just seen there, and I'll show a replay, but these two carts up here did a little switch over. So essentially, you had cart 44, this guy. He was behind the guy in the red suit, and then they do a swap around. And the thing is, this final corner, Kimbrell, it's a very difficult corner to overtake in. And the other thing as well, the cart is very much on the limit, and it's about to oversteer. I've crashed so many times here, and it's actually one of the hardest corners at Cal Speed, despite seeming like a regular 90 degree left-hand turn. So they swap positions again, but where it gets important is you'll notice he forces Sabella into the wall. So obviously, once you're in the tires, you're a passenger. And the cart just, you can see the momentum, it's going, and it just comes to a complete stop. Which is very scary because this is a high-speed turn. So the driver flew out of the cart, Celso Pierre, he has no option. He can't go anywhere, he can't react in time. I mean, he was right behind. So he bounces off, and you can see he starts to fly, and he would have fallen off. But where the big impact happened is with cart 49. Cart 49, again, very close. Could he have reacted better? In theory, yes, but this all happened so quick, it's a matter of luck if you react or not. And so he just plows right into the back of Pierre, and then he goes flying out of the cart, as you can see there, and then the cart continues rolling on. Pretty big crash there, for sure and you can just see him rolling along. And it's very scary there because your visibility exiting this turn is really bad. So he's lucky he didn't get hit by a cart. Where he got also lucky was when he fell out, he's not on the racing line. Had he fallen out on this side, could have been a whole different story. So just to show how hard this crash really happened. So he's bouncing off a cart that is pretty much stationary. I would say it is. And so obviously his momentum starts making him fly. And then when cart 49 hits, I want you to look at the front and rear bumper of these two carts. Shit gets brutal. So he's coming, 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 and we'll go frame by frame, because it happens all in a quick second. But you can see the bumper. Look at the way it bends there. So there's the frame before, and there's the frame after. And that hard plastic doesn't necessarily bend easily. So really big impact. And he just smashes him real good. And you can see the crazy part is his helmet almost gets crushed. 
by the yellow cart. So that could have been bad as well. Like I said, it's one of the luckiest instances of timing I've ever seen because that could have been so much worse. But then again, it's also unlucky, of course, because he got in that crash. So now let's take a look since I had the footage from the yellow car, because you might notice he has a GoPro on his helmet as well. One of the funny things is always seeing yourself racing because obviously when you're driving, you just see your arms. So it's funny to see me recorded by another camera. Just a weird observation. So one thing to note through here is coming out of bypass, he doesn't really get on the throttle that early, but as he's coming out, he's falling at a decent distance. I would say that's about a quarter second of a gap. So in theory, it's enough to react. Obviously in karting, you're not worried about falling distance because you're trying to pass people and race them wheel to wheel. Now you'll see on the apex, these two carts are right onto each other and you can get a really clear view of Sabella being shoved into the wall. And from this point, I would have lifted and braked but how quick would I have reacted if I was in his position? I don't really know. We'll never know, obviously. So if you look at his right foot, he doesn't really lift. But the important thing to note here is his eyes are on cart 31. Now, one thing in karting they always tell you about when they say vision is key is they want you to look at specific points on the track and not necessarily follow another driver. Because if that other driver makes a mistake or crashes, you'll do the same. And you can see where his eyes are pointed right at the back of his helmet. He obviously follows in his tracks. He doesn't hit Sabella because he's already uh, been hit and is pushed out of the way. However, you can see he's going to hit dead on. And you can see it's a pretty big impact as just look at the way the camera jostles. Boom. If we go frame by frame, you can really get a good look. So he's coming up, coming up. He bounces and boom, camera is down straight up. That would definitely hurt in your neck. The one thing where this car got really lucky was the fact that he had a neck brace on. Had he not, definitely could have been even worse. Always a good reminder why we wear a safety gear for this exact reason. This cart is still rolling, but you see it's actually on three wheels. This rear wheel is off the ground. It's coming up, coming up, coming up, and then smash right in. You can get a look. There's the front bumper. It's hard to see behind the, the time code, but it completely lifts up. He goes flying, and you can just see his head actually hits the yellow cart. It didn't get sandwiched in between the two, which is the lucky part, but you can see it actually, it's on the bumper, and what then happens is, because of that, he stays up for a little longer and then falls out, which then helped him fall off the racing line, which again, he got very lucky with. So, yeah, just crazy from this perspective, and especially that noise of the crash. So those are the three angles, and I'll play them back to back for you so you can get one last look and make up your own mind about what you think caused this crash. So there you go, total chaos. I mean, I've seen worse crashes before, but in person and with me actually racing, that's the worst I've ever seen by far. So it was just crazy, I have to be honest. I mean, I've never seen someone at Cal Speed fly out of a cart, but it just goes to show in motorsport, you know, you never know what can happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you wanna see some more shorter style videos like this in the future. But if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. As always, I'm Joey and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.